the homemade Mother's Day gifts. You made this, Dennis? Mary Cross will treasure these objects, remember these words. Mommy, mom is special. Because this may have been one of her last Mother's Days, she has AIDS. I just did the wrong things when I was younger, I suppose. I, I was very adventurous, and uh, I did what I wanted to do, and uh, common sense be damned. Now, at age 43, she's paying for it, and so are her three children. Robbie, just seven, has a lot of pain to deal with. Magic Johnson has it. My mother has it. Who else is going to have it? A lot of pain, a lot of fear. I know she's going to die soon. But Cross has vowed to find a family to take care of her boys before she goes. And she has help from another single mother with AIDS who died this year. I know I'm going to go to heaven, but the hurting thing is, what will my kid's life be like? Tanya Shaw's search for adoptive parents for her children was successful. She was able to give them that one final gift. I love you. I love you too, Mommy. Then, after Shaw's death, friends opened a center called Tanya's Children to help other mothers with AIDS find a place for their children, a place with an adoptive family instead of the revolving door of foster care. Tanya's Children, say supporters, allows these mothers to die a little easier. These are the three little reasons why I'm here. None of Mary Cross's children are HIV positive. Even so, she knows finding a family for them won't be easy. But Cross says she will succeed. She has to. I never thought it would end up like this. I didn't. I thought I, I, I really thought that I somehow escaped it. I was the only one. Anne McDermott, CNN, Los Angeles.